falling back to the A side. They didn't spot anyone into long mid. You go, okay, they were there initially. That probably means they rotated off. In fact, it's just a re-aggression through hookah. Yeah, these players coming out with 15 seconds left. Addy's able to take himself a double, and Fisker's still here to try and run the clock down. But Redgar and Nats show up just in time. Two seconds left as the spike goes down, but now they're in trouble. Ness, one versus... Never mind. That was a little bit Two. of an awkward fight. It wasn't a clean victory, so... It's possible that they feel the pressure a little yeah. Gambit like to do. They're aware of the slow play. They haven't managed to get Nats in. And this is spotted by Addy. He knows that he's about to take a fight, but he's taken down by a wide swing out of Nats. A quick kill and possibly an upgrade in a moment. This could get a little bit dangerous. Yeah, the control he has makes things a little bit awkward. Rotation already coming through. Nice work from Nat, though. The blast back in. The aftershock, I think, of his teammate actually going to hold him back a little bit longer. And the shaky fight, but they're on the defuse. Nats is going to have to go running through his own utility just to try and get that little bit closer. And he will be sectioned off. It's left all on to Shados, and he doesn't stand a chance. A great start for anything within this round. Uh, they're actually going to get a little bit aggressive, and you know what? Defo is having none of these. Okay, okay. Yeah, we'll start. We'll start it slow. We'll start it slow. <laughs> Nats taken down right away. Munchkin is getting away with a lot here before Defo eventually takes him down and puts Gambit with the man advantage. You'll notice that a lot of the time when a fight like that comes in, you've got two picks. This is where teams really huddle up. They start to move towards the site. But again, this is the team that we're looking at. Gambit, so 20 slow seconds on, and steady. There's 45 seconds left. That's basically the buy time. Yeah, they got they got ages to play with. Now, Banzi's in a decent spot. He has a fair amount of utility to try and slow them down. But he almost has to act, I was going to say, as a sentinel. Instead, he's been instantly removed. And the remaining two players are still to rotate. Okay, sure, maybe the pain shells can do a little bit to try and do some damage. But forcing them back isn't going to do too much unless they can find themselves a pick here. And all the angles are covered there. Still manages to find a pick, though. But the blast pack doesn't grant him any for it. Rotating the majority of their forces, oh. leaving just Addy up here in the corner. And the ship. Sheriff, sadly, not enough to get it done. A quick rotation has come in with Bazzi wanting to get some damage in. But I don't think he's going to really have the opportunity Guardian in hand. He wants to get back towards his teammates and help them entry. The fault line does it. Oh, no, it caught Munchkin! Oh, that's the worst case scenario, really. That That is uh, an unfortunate run. I will execute. Yeah, they've used a cosmic divide of their own. This one always Please makes hear. me a little bit uncomfortable because you can pop wow. flash through it, but every single so timing good. peak was perfect. And of course, Nats, the man just doesn't miss. He's just wiping them all down. It's very individualistic, though, from Crazy Raccoon. One by one, they peek into this man, and no surprise, one by one, they fall. <laughs> okay, Redgar, didn't expect anybody to be that far behind at that stage. An ambitious flank play, for sure. I have to say, when you look at Gambit's play in the early round, that, that round right there, I mean, it's just so nice, man. You see Shados flashing into bat the first time, sections it off, knows, okay, next 20 seconds or so, there's not really going to be anyone pushing through. Then goes for a second flash, that blinds up Neth, so they know he's in there. Cosmic Divide down, they rush in, they take Neth down, and then that's when you see the other player try to come through to trade his teammate, yeah. but Nats is just on a swivel, taking that kill as well. I mean, obviously they, well, they're getting out of here with at least two, let's see if it's all three. Bazzi doing quite a bit of damage on that one but ultimately having already given Ga the rolling thunder showstopper these could help to stop the push at the 15 second mark the problem is they're nowhere nearby and as they get into position rolling thunder that could actually cancel it it will nine seconds now as they go for it all crazy raccoons need to do is stop the plant but they can't get in there in time and now it is just an absolute slaughter for gambit look fondly towards the b side here yeah, they don't really have much to play with on this side. Maybe the Seekers can give them at least a little bit of something. Munchkin going to be spotting. Fisker has actually found the opener as well, which is something we haven't seen too much. Gambit have got off to a very good start in the majority of these rounds. So the fact they found the opening pick, it means yeah. that Gambit are going to have to be a little bit more proactive, a little bit more aggressive, and sometimes that's where they suffer. However, Defo trades oh. things back very quickly. Munchkin unluckily hitting the shot through the wall, so it's not a kill, but Defo's shots right. definitely are. A four versus two comes out of absolutely nowhere. The showstopper still in play for Ned. But does he deploy it? No, he absolutely doesn't because Defo takes Lee with this up. He wants the ace out oh, of this, no. but he'll be sideswiped at the last moment. And that could be a saved operator over on the Crazy Raccoon side. It could be. It could be if they want to, which financially they may not have necessarily been in the spot to try and keep. <laughs>
They need to go back to their champion of Rivington. Nice shot though. Okay, Bazzy, Munchkin finding a couple. Shados at least available on the trade and the showstopper. Crazy. It's finally been popped. Crazy raccoons that otherwise have just been dominated at every single turn. Redgar quickly takes down Addy. Those Astra Stars no longer going to be worrisome. Now Redgar continues the IGL certainly thinking he's a duelist in this moment. I mean, when he's playing with just Chronicle having the post-plant capabilities that he does, maybe he is a duelist. Oh, he's been spotted out up close, but this is Chronicle's moment to shine. The Flash on its way over. He has been spotted on the backside. Great information to play with, but Crazy Raccoons are falling left, right, and center. Redguard, the last man alive. Post-plant stars are down. Munchkin won't be able to get this defuse in right away. He has to try to bait him into open combat. Another tap necessary. The clock now running low. Halfway defused as he comes off it. Redgar, oh, he's got the flank, and Near miss! 70 oh. HP left on Fisker. Yeah, Fisker dances his way out of that one, pulls a rotation to give him a little bit of extra help to push from Nats, though. He's already found one on the edge of the smoke. This leaves just one defender. They do this every single time. The Poison Orb removed to give him that extra vision, and Ade's going to be scanned at the back of the site. They have to give it up. Now, they don't have the paint shells. This is what they previously used for denial, but Bazzi has been able to catch out one. He most certainly has an opportunity yet again, an open door to potentially walk on through, but it's been tough. Gambit constantly winning out on these post plans, regardless of the disadvantage. Now a hero is needed. Munchkin sideswipe, 27 HP. The Operator comes out now. The Blade Storm has been popped. Plenty of options for him there, but as Addy falls, the numbers start to thin out yet again on that defensive side. The time not in their favor. They have to make their way forward. Shock darts are on the way. A flash in. The Blade Storm, but he's blinded up. There'll be no defuse today. Gambit both moving a little bit quicker this time. Doesn't have his operator in hand, leading the charge and going through the screen. They're just so unaware of these peaks. What is that from Redgar? Just takes off three heads as they attempt to get back into the site. They're going to try and push through a depot's already. <laughs> All righty. Not quite the reference I was expecting out of you, Tom, but uh, you know, to each their own. Redgar opening this one up and. I think we start to get the violins out if it continues this way. Nats is up close at his poison orb, waiting for them to barrel on through. Now, of course, you have to be careful of the sky flash popping on in, and that's why Nats takes his orb away before they can. But he's dropped down right away. A fight ensues on the site. Shados being pushed down and executed. Munchkin has opened up so much space for Crazy Raccoons, but they need someone to follow up on it. They need a hero in this round to keep them alive. There's an Astra Star on the side of pole and dash out oh. Redgar, oh. lighting him up and he can't finish him off. Oh, the whip comes in at the wrong moment. Fisker has to clutch and he can't. The hands of Gambit. Back to Sean to break that one down. <laughs> yeah, let's get another breakdown out of Sean. My God, this is this is incredible. Respect. Nats is actually going to play within his poison of the flash is so perfect straight through Nats didn't even know what hit him and oh. he's even going to trade his own life the martyrdom to give them the man advantage further into this round this is not feeling good at all for crazy raccoons they're at a man disadvantage moving in towards this site with pistols and a marshal the first is taken down and the second follows swift yeah it's not been great. 13 to 1. Almost normal rolls, like Chronicle going back to his Sova. That, that's something that we see quite regularly. Come back, happen. Look at this dash in towards the A side. Lots of presence being made. Munchkin taken down by a quick right click. That's suboptimal to say the least. Neth is now trapped up above. No way out, so the flash comes in to help him. Looks like he's going to stick in position. Holding it down with his teammates, the wall to his back keeps him safe as the rest of Gambit looks to push in. The picks just keep on coming their way. They turn their attention upwards, and that's when Net falls. And the post plant, well, there's not nearly enough time to run down that clock. I mean, Addy would need, well, firstly, to hit his lineups, and secondly, he would need no! to <laughs> have a little bit less time left. No. If they can pick him off, that would be great, but I wonder if he has just spotted maybe a little bit of information. Because the rotation is now starting to swing that way. Here comes the wall. Easy clap for Gambit on the back site. Nats is now in trouble, but Redgar steps up to help out. And this is just looking like another flawless round. A prime gaming flawless out of Gambit. How Crazy Raccoon should win this round. This should be theirs cleanly. Redgar's pushing up. Oh, he's managed to get past them. 
a free kill on the first, and he is out of here. Not managing to make it all the way, but slowing down any form of re-aggression. They can't the clean execute on the back of that. So they have to run through the slow one. Player spotted up above. Shock darts in for a little bit of damage, and it's going to cause the heal to be popped in the very early stages of this round. In fact, that's quite good, because Munchkin could have gotten healed up to about 100, so having Neth heal himself, and he's still not looking too healthy. Plant comes in. Now we're going to look at the post plan. See if they can manage to keep these weaker weapons at range. Shao is Jados away with two. He's moving towards the side. His teammates rallying to help. Low HP on Bassi. A clean kill on the death. And it's only 20 health on a Sova. No chance for those post plans to work out. In fact, a clean defuse and a third round for Gambit with three players left alive. Three upgrades everywhere. This couldn't get any worse for the attackers. I almost wondered, like, with the, with the shun fair. So the fact that he switched roles, especially when he was such a strong sage, shows how much faith they have in this player. And they're starting to look to swing back in. They do take down Defo, though. That's an excellent start. Oh, they've all been spotted here. It's time to push on forward. Shados good for the first. The spray almost fully connects for Chronicle. They're starting to really lose the manpower that they had before. Neth on the flank, not able to get anything done. And with only Addy left, he's got two opponents to take down a ghost in hand, just not the one back, but it isn't. They've pushed into the site, they've got the control, and as they look for the plant, they lose Munchkin right away. Oh, oh. for the flank for Redgar with the instant headshot makes this look like a already oh. fleeting position, and now Ned's the only one standing. At least he's denied them another flawless round, but the fact is, it's 5-0, and zero, and Gambit are making this. In fact, I think he's running pretty low on knives at this point, just the three to work with, but there's the connection. Chronicle down. A little more going to be sought after as he starts to really creep up and catch them off guard. But no, the shot doesn't land. Shados survives, but he can't okay. get the kill to heal on up. Great damage done by Munchkin for the round that's in it. Crazy uh, Raccoon of Spike Plant and Man Advantage. Damn, damn it, through the wall. So he's aiming away just to make sure it's not legit, but no, never mind. We're going to have the push coming back in. There are still weaker weapons. Oh, he's oh, killed the Oh, no, he's picked up one of his own, but Bazzi is still standing, trying to do work with the Marshal. It's left all onto Ade. He's got his utility landing. He's trying to slow them down. Nat has actually run out of bullets, and he has to go for the repeek, but they're just sticking this all the way through, and he can't quite land. The moves back in the other direction with... The fact that we've already got the Vipers pit locking out B, but there you go. Defo's been taken out. Munchkin stepping up with the operator. He's instantly oh, oh, red guard. Okay, that might be a little bit of an ego peak, but I guess with the teammates he's got behind him, he's still feeling confident. Just going straight in for it, man, on top of the rope. That's ridiculous, but yeah, you saw them. They're reclining. They're relaxing. This is a team that feels confident and a scary opponent to try and take on. Oh, the kill. Oh, that it means the that the Viper's pit. pit is going to be dropped. There's the oh, fall down by Shadow. No. Easy kill. Last player spotted. Weapon out. Ready to take the fight. And it is clean. These guys. And then it just becomes a match I don't want to watch anymore because it feels me. Oh! <laughs> He's just free <laughs> As they try to walk I through we, a choke we, point. <laughs> oh, guys, he's going he's gonna to put a snake bite down as the wall breaks. He can hold the angle right after. No problem. Flash doesn't even catch him. They're like, oh, don't worry. No one's holding close anymore. Flash didn't see him. Oh, yep. Yeah, he's still here. Nats is tucked in the corner, waiting to take the kills. Um, Fisker's going to go into it. Oh, no. he's even trying to wall bang him. Okay. Don't that's an ambitious it. play. Don't, don't they leave him in with Stop. the second player spraying. Oh, it's a 4K already for Nats. Absolutely farming. Chronicle, don't kill. He is looking to they catch that flank. The confidence well, they has boosted up. And exactly as you said, they had the crossfire. They've lost Munchkin, though. Is this where they start to reposition? Where a player starts to move? Yes, it is. And that's the spike. Shadow spots a second player. And he is hungry to take him down. Trading out his teammate and eliminating Neth. A 3v2 develop spray. It. He makes it. And Defo's playing with the blade sword, waiting for that peak. That's just disgusting. Absolutely filthy. Out of we the, have uh, actually seen a whip from Defo. The first yeah. of possibly no more to come. Chronicle's gone down, though. That kill would have been so valuable in the early round. This is an opening for Crazy Raccoon to get in there, running out of those times. Red Guard's having a tough enough time. Forced into the reload and taken down. At last, we're actually seeing Crazy Raccoon get on the site. But have I jinxed it? Have I ruined it? It looks like Shados is here to fight. Arena up on top. Spots. <laughs> down below, drops him and peeks out for more. 
Everybody's tickled up over on that attacking side. Crazy Raccoon have so much to do. The recon, ooh, not quite going to reveal Defo, but it does force him back, and they can actually get the plant now. Munchkin getting rid of his knives there. Unfortunately, no target connected, but he has got the Vandal to play with. He's in a decent spot. I don't know if they'd expect him to be this close. The peak comes through and he has to give it away. Now his teammate's desperately low, but it's a fairly even playing field at the moment. The best chance we've seen from Crazy Raccoon. And Munchkin is actually going to take some ground, try and sneak his way through. He's already found himself one. It's left all on to Nats, potentially ending the chance for that 13-0. And they will get around on the board. It is Crazy Raccoon, just eight rounds behind. Shados is going up, he's been spotted though, great recon to stop that aggression, but then they walk right into the Operator! Did miss that one. Not not really that surprised, it was a, a blip on the radar. <laughs> They've still left players lurking around that spot, no reason for Nats to rotate. And Shados is still getting aggressive. Yeah, I... The feeling of this map, the feeling of this series, really, it just looks like Crazy Raccoon are being... The rest supporting from further they back, they're it. not going to check it at all. Oh, oh they, did. they yeah. did! Fisker Skyer not is able to get that one done, but now they deal with Nats. Shock Dart, Snake Bites, he's got 2 HP left, and he's still going out to fight! This man just doesn't give up, pumping in the Viper's Pit! Oh. Uh, just in case they've somehow crossed, I think he's actually switched and they'll see the smokes, but there's a gap in it, there's a big gap in it for him to try and base into. They're going to try and peek versus Chronicorn. Hey, they get the trade, putting it into at least a winnable position, but he's just... Left. Walks on through, the steps are being made, 10 seconds left, he's got to run, and he will be taken down. Fine before, but uh, here on Icebox, not so much. Yeah, I, I think on other maps within the pool, maybe, but I, I think in this scenario, it didn't matter what side of what map or in any spot. It just looks like they're completely outclassing their opponents, and they've already kicked it off in the pistol, Mitch. Yes, they have. Picking up the opening, deleting Munchkin, and then slowing it down. He has, Still. A, he has a sheriff and shields. They've got a they raid boss them Yeah. Well, I mean, or with did the he way get it from Munchkin? He no, no, no. Oh, sorry, he's actually on Munchkin's body, so maybe he did. Maybe he might he have. Either way, to. he is destroying them with it. Coming in with big damage onto Fisker, left on 45. Snake bites and shock darts on the way. Look how quickly they make that decision. That's not a lineup. That's not a position, Mitchell. Now, we're, we're going to see if they can get anything in this round. A single kill. Some might be looking at this as a potential. 30 seconds left. Do you know what? Spike planted. I do indeed. Terrible debut you, you for Crazy Raccoon. So you don't cry. Exactly. Exactly. Does he decide to kill him? Oh, Munchkin. He's sad back. Waiting for an opportunity. And there it is. Nat's taken down on the post plan. Chronicle. Quick to trade. It's there just in time to save his teammate's life. The defused tap. They have to go out and make sure that it's not coming in. Those post-line lineups are here! And a quick spray down to close it out! 